Yeah. Now Shoop has Hunter and Cthun Druid left. And when you're up 2-0 in a best of seven, there are you have a pretty significant advantage. If you go up 3-0, in best of five, coming back in a sweep is possible because in a best of five situation in Conquest, sometimes people bring strategies where they counter one deck. Uh, and that, that one deck is the last one remaining, and, and sweeps can happen. But in a best of seven, that strategy sort of goes out the window. Because a lot of times you won't find four decks that can counter a specific deck in this format, in, in the, the Conquest format. Especially since the format ten, tends to uh, lean more towards people just bringing good overall decks instead of an overall strategy. So, um, Shoop in a great spot now. Chaki going to have to overcome this Cthune Druid with his new Warlock. And with a hand like that uh, opening from Shoop, it's going to be tough. Uphill battle. It's definitely a really strong hand. I mean, they both have pretty strong hands, to be perfectly honest. Innervate, of course, a much more key card to Druid than pretty much any of the other cards are to Zoo. Yeah. Hmm. What do, your, what do you keep here, What do you keep here, Do you keep Fandral? Innervate Fandral and go for Innervate Fandral Liberians? I mean, I think you can consider keeping the entire thing four keep yeah i mean that's a good curve yeah four keep let's do it jackie's got to be wet in his pants Cthune druid four keeps as <laughs> against a zoo if any druid four keeps that's bad news <laughs> yeah now it's not quite as bad as as he was thinking but if he turns one Fandrels, this is going to succeed. This is going to live. And I definitely don't mind the conservative play here. I mean, if you innervate Coin Fandrel and Chalky uses Power Overwhelming, that is, you know, it is two cards for two cards, but it's yeah. certainly in Chalky's favor at that point. Yeah. You think he's going to go for innervate Fandrel into Coin Living Roots? Well, the Coin Living Roots is not looking very appealing here, and that's that's really the big story is just how weak it looks on this board. You know, it doesn't actually kill anything. I mean, it does get some good pressure. I'd put some damage on one of the Void Walkers, maybe takes out the front half of the Possessed Villager and the two one ones, but they're just going to get chewed through by the Void Walkers. So, you know, she was kind of hoping that this open from Chalky was Flame Imp. Yeah. Or Knife Juggler. So that way he could, he could innovate this Fandral and play Living Roots, but. Literally one anything but one once. triple one drop that Living Roots <laughs> does nothing against. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, above anything, he was hoping that Chalky just passed turn one. And this is this one's looking ugly. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, it's going to help get the job done here, but that that open is sort of wasted oh, cool. now. That that four keep is sort of wasted now. I, I mean, I don't want to say wasted because. Living Roots and Fandral are still threats that can be played early. It's just, this did not pan out in the way that I'm sure Shoop thought it was going to. Chalky gets the juggle on that shield as well. I mean, this swipe is looking pretty nice here, but if he does that, his turn four is Fandral and hope that it doesn't get dealt with. Yeah. Which is not a bad play. I mean, I, that's probably what I'm going for here. I, I definitely don't want to be taking the knife juggler shots. Definitely want to shut down as much damage as possible. And if my opponent's running low on resources and having to use power blowing to trade, that's a situation where the deck's going to get a lot slower and maybe you have the time to recover from it. Yeah. Is there a situation where you hold off one more turn on this swipe? If he does, he's living rootsing on the, yeah. on the knife juggler. He's just going for Fandral now. I don't know about this one. That's going to let those one health minions trade in. That is bold. That is a very bold call. And yeah, Dark, Dark Iron Dwarf. Dwarf. This is really bad for Shoop all of a sudden. I mean, I think you just roll this on the 2-1. If you hit the juggle, you get a clean trade. If not, you just traded the 1-1. And Chalky oh just sniping juggles. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely swiped this turn. But now Sheep's turn five is, is Azure Drake or Living Roots and Hero Power. And Chalky's about to start. I mean, this is the, the draw two cards a turn territory. 
Yeah. He draws Dark Shadow Councilman, Imp King Boss, second Dark Iron Dwarf, even. Yeah, I mean, just Peddler. Load up. I mean, this I is lifetime first. first. Yeah. yeah. And Flame Imp's a great one to pick up right now. See what he gets from this Dark Peddler as well. Probably going to be looking for some type of burn spell to close this game out quickly. Power Whelming Soul Fire is what he's looking for, but. So he decides to pick up. It is going to be a Reliquary Seeker. And if, I mean, if, yeah, it's likely that this is this Reliquary Seeker is going to be a 5 5. Yeah, I mean, Shoop has to kill something this turn. And if he doesn't, Reliquary Seeker is going to be active. And I can tell you, he's not going to Living Roots Hero Power. So yeah. it's Azure Drake. And he's got copies of Dark Arakoa, but he's not going to live long enough. He's not long for this world. Uh, is that just 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? He does have two juggles, so there is a potential lethal here, but he's got to get... I'm pretty fortunate. I think he's going to... Nope. Uh, play the Dark Iron Dwarf. And... Oh. Now he waits. So he's not going for the Reliquary Seeker. I'm really surprised by that. I mean, at this point, I'm not sure if it matters. Even if you play Dark Arakoa, you are you just trade in and win anyway. Tell you what, if Shoop had Blood Mage Swipe, it would matter a lot. Yeah, but I don't think Shoop even plays Blood Mage. Yeah, well, I mean, does Chalky know that, though? I mean, Chalky's playing a copy of Blood Mage. Yeah, that's. I mean, we've seen Shoop play some really long games over the course of the week. If Chalky's been playing, paying attention... And yeah. Kazeem comes out, so Chucky is going to put himself on the board, takes a win with the Zoo, despite going up against a four-kept hand from Shoop's Druid. Yeah, I mean, again, Shoop obviously looking for the Flame Imp or the Juggler open there from mm -hmm. Chucky, and instead had the Possessed Villager Voidwalker Voidwalker open. And so yeah. Fandral Living Roots was just offering no opportunity to get value there, and as a result, uh, ended up playing Fandral just to try to get something on board, got traded up to very effectively, and got run over after that. I really don't blame Shoot for that opening. I, I would have four kept as well, I'm pretty sure. It's just, you know, sometimes Same. it doesn't work out the way it, it you thought it would in your head. If that was any other opening from Chalky, I'm sure Shoop had a chance to run away with that game. But looks like we're jumping into game number four here. Shoop has a two to one lead. See if Chalky can fight his way back and tie it up. Shoop's gonna throw out like a Thune Druid once again. And Chalky has his mid range hunter to go up against it. This is a matchup we've seen a ton of over the course of the weekend, as both of these decks have been incredibly popular.